excited to be with you today to do a Rev X cardio interval class together. You just need your body weight, nothing else, and we're gonna have a good time. I have my friend Maloney with us today. Maloney's gonna take up to the advanced level, a higher level of a, of a fitness, so you can go ahead and follow him. And then Tammy's gonna modify for everyone. If you have a chair or a coffee table nearby, pull that close. All right, so just your body weight, we're good to go. And guess what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna celebrate this one more time. This is my last RevWell TV recording in my 40th decade of life. So let's do this, let's Rev X together, because next time I see you, I'm in a whole new land, and we're gonna press into First Chronicles 16, 11, that says, seek the Lord and his strength, seek his presence continually, all right? Let's do that together. Um, let's get warmed up by just start moving your body, kind of shifting your weight side to side. We call this a rinse. You just kind of get in your body, side to side. Yep, you can march in place or step touch, but you're shifting your weight. And when we shift our weight, we're firing up the bilateral movement of the brain. Right, left, right, left. Relax your shoulders, but pull them back. Tuck your tailbone underneath you a little bit. Tuck underneath. Everyone take a deep breath, inhale. Exhale with this. Do a few times, inhale. Exhale. Another one, one more. Through the nose, exhale. Good, now go ahead, take one arm up and the other. Same thing, bilateral stimulation takes coordination just to do this. The fact that you're not falling over, <laughs> it's a grace of God, friends. It is a grace of God. Good. Keep that going. Four more. Three, two, and one. Take your feet wide, wider than squat, and you're gonna do this little rotation. As you rotate up, let that rear arm open so you feel your chest. Come down low, come up high little golf swing, I guess you'd call it, <sighs> wood chop. <sighs> Everyone, though I know, isn't it a great one? It feels good because you're moving through three planes of motion. <sighs> this is how your body moves organically. Switch, other side, come down, up, <sighs> open. <sighs> Relax your jaw. Everyone, scan your body. <sighs> See where you're holding tension. Three, two, one more. Good, nice. Knees up. High knee if you want, but nice and slow. You're not going fast. You're just trying to get the knee up. Get back into your glutes a little bit. Breathe. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his presence continually. It's the continually that I'm working on. Anyone else? Let's work on the continually. Come on, Lord, teach us. Now, you're gonna cross the body. As that knee comes up. Everyone, it takes the mind connection to the body. So as you move, think about the movement. Move better, not faster. You do not move better or move faster until you can move better. So we're gonna do six exercises today. Take one foot, step back, rotate and stretch open, switch, other side. So we have six exercises, switch, you'll be 30 seconds at a lower intensity, then 30 seconds at a higher intensity, switch. So use it to your ability. Everyone say these two words, switch, no pride, no pride. That pride will kill you, switch, truly. Evil is not the root of all sin, everyone. It's pride, pride, thinking of ourselves higher and better than God. Come on up. Nice, take your arms out in front of you. Draw your shoulders back in their socket. So you're not trying to reach for your toes. You're trying to bring your leg up towards you. Feel that hamstring. Now, opposite arm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Has it gotten any <laughs> looser yet, Tammy? A <laughs> little bit, a little bit. All right. Good. Four, three, two. Give me a jumping jack, everyone. Go. Let's work on the continually seek his face. Do you know when he sees your face, it's joy. When he sees you seeing him, it's joy. And it's the joy of the Lord is our what? 
strength. In his presence is strength and fullness of joy. Good. Heart rate coming up, yep. Three, two, good. Take your feet wide, just give me a squat. And I want you to get into a good squat. Don't move faster. Listen, as we get older, we kind of go, well, this is good enough. No, you got all this. You ever watch a baby? They can like lift up from the ground. They can be sitting on the ground and stand right up. Let's get back what anything that our unawareness or numbness or pride has stolen. Because pride says go faster. Humility says do it better. Three, two, good, one. Take your arms to legs out. You're gonna drop one shoulder, stretch. Switch, use that hand to press your inner thigh. Yeah, that's another good one. Switch. Switch. Good. Come on up and just keep your feet moving. All right, our first exercise is going to be a jumping jack 30 seconds at your pace, and then we're going to add some spice to it. Are we ready? We're ready. Okay, I need 10 second countdown before we go. Three, two, oh, it's counting up this time because that's what it does to me. All right, get ready, everyone. Jumping jack on your mark. Get set and go. Begin. Jumping jack, go. Jumping jack. All right. Thank you. Three, two, now. Power it up. Take it up. Star jack. In, out, explode. Hey, get some air time, Maloney. Get some air time. Come on. You have to be able to smile. If you can't smile, don't do it. That's your flesh getting all selfish. Come on. Oh. Next move, bring it down. Just move better. Squat. Yeah. Feel it. Come from the obliques. All right. Heart rate should be doing its thing. Do what you gotta do. 
Get ready, you got five more seconds. Just be in your body. Seek his face. Set, go, quick, go. In, up. Up. Nice. Good, Tammy. Everyone say, go, Tammy. Come on, use your voice. We are in this together, even though it's through the molecules of the air and the internet. You're a part of this. Three, two, jump rope. You don't have a rope. Air rope. You never mess up that way. Now in 15 seconds, you're gonna go faster with your rope, even if it's just a little bit. Or try some double unders. Try one double under. And it's all on the wrist. Go! Ah. I say it again, I'd rather you try and miss it. Frequent attempts in learning. That's what FAIL stands for for us. Frequent attempt in learning. Because in his presence, there's strength, no shame. Put it down. Shuffle. One, two, three, four. Come on. Just be in the movement. The point is to let the heart rate come down. So don't watch the psyche of, oh, I need all those calorie burns. That is not what we do here. Ready, go, quicker. Actually get one minute rest. I think we missed something, but that's okay. <laughs> We're gonna go with it. We're gonna go with it. We're gonna take the one minute rest. One minute, get a drink is right. Seek the Lord and his strength. Say it with me, remember, come on. You're right now, your brain is ready for new information. Tell me something good, tell me something true. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his presence continually. That word presence also translates to his face. Seek his face. Face time. Face time. How much face time have you had with the Lord? Get ready. We're going to the jumping jack. Three. Go. Jumping jack. Go. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. right now. It's not fast. It's good. It's here. Now get ready because sometimes we have to laser beam focus and push through something tough, something difficult. We are here to train love because love is heavy. Go! If you want it. <sighs> Come on. You know, when I jump, I never take it for granted. <laughs> I, I broke my foot like four years ago. Could barely walk on it. Man, you don't know what you got till it's gone, huh? Come on. And that gratitude, I know lights up the Father's face. It lights up his face with joy. That's your spot. Come on, do me a favor. Don't think about how much more you have to do. Don't do that. Or notice if you're starting to do it, just notice it. Because right, stay present. Because in the present moment is his presence. His presence isn't over there, although it is there too, it's right here. Set, ratchet squat, go. Explode from your core, from your inmost place. Seek the Lord and his strength. Whose strength? His. Not mine. 
Tammy's is gonna fail, Maloney's is gonna fail, but his never fails. I'm gonna say two words. You're gonna say two words. I'm gonna say his love, and you're gonna say never quits. It's that unfailing strength, that unfailing love. He will not fail you. Seek him in this moment. Ready? Heisman, go! One, two, three. The floor is hot. Ah. Any movement you're doing and it's opening up your face, that's good movement because it's opening up your mind. It's all connected. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Five, four, three, two. Burpee, nice and slow. One, two, three, four. Now remember, the point is to let the heart rate come down a bit. It's still going. There's no way it couldn't be going because you're still moving. You're still breathing. You're still thinking. You know what? It takes heart rate to blink your eyes. <laughs> Come on. Ready? Faster. Go, go, go. One, two, three, four. But only because you have ingrained it. You have put the pattern into your body. Come on. I love it. Tammy, giving it a show in that coffee table what you're made of. Amago Day! Table! Table, not Amago Day! Tammy, Amago Day! Stop! Jump rope! How you doing, Maloney? Hey, hey! He's doing such a great job. Thanks, Tammy. Rev X, everybody. Get strong. Be challenged. Stay. Three. Thirty seconds. Go, go. You can pepper it up. Ha! I can get about three double unders. That's about all this girl can get. Everyone pray. Maybe for my 49th last moment. Ha! Come on. Yes, 50 double unders. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. It's all in the wrist, I will tell you that. It's a lot in the wrist, but it's that brain connection. Two. We got the one, two, three. One, two, three, four. Come on. Is your heart beating? Grateful. Everyone, focus on the punch. See something? Get a vision. Go. Like you're moving on rails. Gliding. Do you hear me breathing? I'm not doing it for your benefit. Come on, breathe. Do it for your benefit. Come on. Five, four, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. Three, two, yep, nice. What are we doing next? We should be on a one minute rest. One minute rest now, take that one minute everyone. One minute. Get a drink of water. We got one more time through. Not yet, you got 30 more seconds. Stay resting. Everyone, take deep breath. Exhale. I want you to actually try to get your heart rate lower, lower, lower right now. It's like how fast can you get back to just being rooted? Don't worry, it's not gonna drop down to sleeping heart rate. It's not possible. 
you got EPOC going on. Exercise post oxygen calorie consumption. Get ready, set, jumping jack, go, go. All right, this is our last time through. Sometimes we say in the biz, two to maintain, three to gain. Which is often true, because the first time through, you're kind of learning it. The second time through, you're pushing it. The third time through, you're probably failing it a little bit. That's the point. That's the point. You are not gone. Go. We're Go. Gonna be cool. I have, to I have to laugh. Keep going. I remember I went to a class one time. It was on Halloween, and people wore costumes. And one guy wore Buzz Lightyear. And every time he did this move, I was like, to infinity and beyond. You just look like it is a costume. So come on. Oh, hey. How's that mobility in your squat going? Huh. Oh. Everyone. Four. Go nowhere without this belt of truth. Make no move without it. Go. Some of you, if you want to tap down, sometimes our body moves better if we have a point of contact, like a start finish. You're doing great. This song is called House of God. Appropriate. This is the House of God. Yes. One, two, three. Seek the Lord and his strength. You guys, the definition in the Bible, in the Hebrew for strength, it means a lot of things. Personal strength, social strength, political strength, and physical. Go! Keep going, I want to coach you. Personal strength. Like he goes, I got strength for that situation. Between you and that person, I got strength for that. Socially, politically, right? This which way is the best way, Caesar, the Lord, which way? God goes, I got better strength than that. Burpee. Just slow. Come on. Tell yourself. This is good enough. If I could only do this, I'd be grateful. I love, Paul says, whether abounding or abasing, I have learned to be content, and that's the strength of the Lord. So that's what we do here. Fast, go, fast. Quick, quick, in Revelation Fitness, RevX, whatever you're doing here, we are learning to be content. Thankful, even in the hard moments. And I know when I don't have strength, it's because I've lost my joy, because the joy of the Lord is my strength. And it's because I've taken my eyes off of Him and I'm looking at my situation. Stop, jump rope. I'm looking at Facebook, all the political chatter. All the we, them, pick a side, like, don't like, or I'm looking in the mirror, not liking what I see, and I'm letting anything, anything I let define me by God, I will lose strength. Go, go, hot, come on, come on, I know. Poor Maloney, he needed his own jump rope. He's making it work. Make it work. Come on. Knit your ribs. Knit your ribs. Whew. 10. I know. 
I know, keep going, keep going. Yeah, we're gonna have to keep this going. And everyone, go shuffle, it's your last one. Sing it out, boy, one, two, three, four. What tomorrow brings. One, two, three, four. Come on. Sing Get ready when out. I say go. Girl, you've got to be you know what you're gonna do. Needs. You're gonna go with that fast. You're gonna track like you're on rails. Come on. Three, four, come on. You ready? Here it comes. You ready, Tammy? You ready, Maloney? Go, go! Hop, 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 hop! Come on! Stay low! Hey! I love it! I love it! All around the world, we're just hurting cats! It's just craziness! Go! Go! Four! Three! got a one minute rest. You got a one minute rest. And then we're gonna do a two minute, two minute finisher. <sighs> breathe. Remember the point is to breathe down. So two minute finisher. Now, RevX isn't really known for its choreography, <laughs> but I'm gonna pull up, what all choreography is, is putting, linking moves together. And, and it's not just one move rest, one move rest. So we're gonna link some moves together. And they're not going to be unfamiliar because you just did them all. For two minutes, we will shuffle, punch four times, come down, do the mountain climber four times, flip onto our butt, and do a Russian twist, which we haven't done. Then you'll stand up and go the other way. Are we ready? Follow me if you don't know it. You got 10 seconds. I'm not going to rip you off. Ready? Three. Two, one, go. One, two, three, four, down. One, two, three, four, sit. One, two, three, four, up. Up. Move better. Get up and get down. That's the stuff. That's functional fitness. When you're down, you're going to get up. You're going to do your punches. You're going to do your climbs. His love. Hey. Come on, let's go. you guys you are less than one minute it's the not stop now everyone think about how good he's been to you think about the grace that comes in your weakness, Maloney. The grace that comes when we are tempted. Come on. Yo, I think the angels in heaven get bored sometimes. Come on, let's employ them. Come to our aid as we seek his face. Five, four, three, two. You did it. Well done. Nice. That whole cardio thing. Oh my goodness. That whole cardio thing. Everyone go ahead and grab your mat. We are going to stretch. Don't go onto your mat yet though. Just get it. I want you to stay up because I know your heart rate's up. That's such good stuff. Here's the deal. I think the Lord loves when you exercise your strength. Like you just did something really strong. But we know in our own strength, <laughs> if we're not careful, we will worship created things rather than created God. Take your shoes off. Let's do it. Hey, y'all. Getting into your bare feet, really good for functional fitness. 
Because when you're in your tennis shoes, sometimes it's like your feet are like clubs. So let's do this with our feet. Pick up your ten toes and kind of flare them. Flare them, flare them. Lift them up. And now squeeze your toes, tuck them underneath. Ah, and kind of roll into them a little bit. Yeah, and then lift them. It's a nice little toe exercise. Reach over side. Inhale, switch. Exhale. Ah. Inhale, other side. Go again, go again. Second time, get a little deeper. Good. Hands come down onto your thighs. Round the back. Flatten the back. Round the back. Flatten the back. Keep doing that. When you round the back, kind of think about a plunger. Like You're not going to suck it in. You're going to draw it in. If you can draw it in on the rounded back, you'll get into parts of the low back that if you didn't draw in, you won't get. Good. Do me a favor. Come on down like this. A little squatty squat. You can let your toes turn out. Yep, good. You can use your elbows, whatever you got to do. Breathe. Not a good picture, Ashley. Not a good one. <laughs> ah. Breathe. Put your hands. Now, take your feet wide. Walk them out. Come up onto your fingertips. Good. Flatten your back. Yeah, Tammy's got a nice coffee table or chair going. Yes, and bring the ground up to you if you need to. Now, everyone, I do want your toes in, heels out, because that'll inner spiral your thighs. Now, kind of pick up as if you're trying to squeeze your inner thighs together, but you can't. So you're not buckling the knees. You're rotating your thighs in. Put your left hand down, right hand high. Hey, now. Hey, now. Breathe. Oh, gosh, that's good stuff right there. Go ahead and bring that hand down. And then you're going to slide over into your left foot thigh. Pick up that right leg. Yeah, or your right thigh. Sorry, I should be mirroring. Hey, hey. That's good. Breathe. Come back to the center. Halfway up for length on your fingertips. Put the opposite arm down. Take that nice big twist. Open your heart. Draw your skull back. Open your throat. so good. Y'all, it's this continually, continually, without end. Bring your hands down. Seek his presence. I'm telling you what, slide on over. I, uh, the Lord gave me the word presence for this year. You know how he like kind of gives you a word? And, and listen, I believe in words. You can ask him any time. Ask him now for a word. He doesn't just deposit words on January 31st, or December 31st. He's always handing out words. Ask him, God, what do I need for this season that I'm in and headed into? Come back up for the assignments you have for me. Good. We're going to turn to the side, step back, child's pose. Kind of rake the, the mat. So you're kind of going long. Use the stickiness of your mat. Rest your forehead. So I honestly think there probably is no, no greater, like, to seek his presence. This is what David said. One thing that I ask. One thing, God. May I always be found in your temple, in your place of worship. I would just want to be found there. David, he's a brilliant warrior. Because <laughs> he knew if I'm in the presence of God, I cannot fail. Nothing formed against me can prosper. No weapon, no war that's waged. So find yourself in need of his strength. Come on up, inhale. 
Come on up to all fours. Let's go again in that back stretch. Good, now go ahead and take your right foot forward towards your right thumb. And then go ahead and come up like into a straight up squared lunge here, so it's not a warrior lunge. And then tuck your tailbone under a bit. Everyone take your hands behind you, place them right here on your low back a bit. Try to make your elbows touch. Hey. Now walk that foot out in front of you a little bit more, and then begin to lean into it. Such a good God. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands come down. Wiggle that foot over. And you know we had to do it. We've got to get into your hip. Modify it. Just bring that back leg in, but you've got yourself in a nice little pigeon stretch, a hip opener. I love this from Act 7. Talk about seeking his face. May we be so consumed by the goodness of this God, the beauty of him, that we live to the end of our life like Stephen. Stephen was being stoned for proclaiming the gospel. Let me just read this to you. In light of seeking his strength, his face, it's recorded. Now when they heard these things, they were enraged, they being the religious people, and they ground their teeth at him, Stephen. But he, Stephen, full of the Holy Spirit, gazed into heaven and saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. And he said, Behold, I see the heavens open and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. When you seek his face, heaven's open. Come on up, inhale, come on up. Switch that out, other side. Just do that squared up lunge so that you just get into this hip right here and then just tuck your tailbone under. You don't have to do anything else, but just tuck it under. Maybe take again your hands right here on your tailbone. And now slide that front foot out in front of you, maybe four or six inches, and then go ahead and come forward from that open hip. Breathe. Good. Hands come down. Woo! Wiggle your foot over. Lay it down. If there's one thing I could train you in this year and maybe years to come, seek him continually. The minute your brow furrows, the minute you feel offended, angry, slighted, left behind, rejected, misunderstood, the second you feel it in your body, it's your nervous system that took in that information and then your brain processed it into old files that says pride, self-protect, self-exalt. And when we do that, we can turn and seek his face in that minute, in that moment, and the heavens will open because he lives to intercede for those who seek him. Gently come on up. Let's finish in a seated posture here for just a second. Kneeling. Or simple seated. Roll your shoulders back. Drop your ear to one side, then the other. Good job. Palms up or on your heart, wherever feels connected to you. So God, thank you. Thank you that your invitation to us is to seek you all the time. Your wisdom is found in your word. 
Your word is not here to confuse us. It's here to guide us and lead us in the path of life. And so, Lord, I do ask for a, a, an anointing, a favor for this continuousness. It's that picture of wholeness, that nothing interrupts our peace, that we are continuous people, continually turning everything, especially the bad, into good. And in your presence, there's strength. Your face is kind towards us. I ask right now that you would see his face seeing you. See how pleased he is with you. That you would turn over your strength, your personal strength, your social strength, your political strength, your physical strength to say, God, it's all for you and about you. And without you, it all means nothing. So God, thank you for this time. And now come empower us to be the people, the living epistles, transform hearts. May we start in our homes with our husbands and our wives, our children, our roommates, our closest. And may it go out and spread like wild fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, you guys. Good job. Thank you. Now, don't forget, if you were blessed by this workout, we invite you. Get on mission with us. Move some mountains with us. Your partnership literally helps save lives. People figure out, I'm made for, fearfully, wonderfully made and made for more. They live for something greater. And every one of you that donates and get on, gets in on this mission helps make these Revel TV go out and we break generational chains of physical and spiritual poverty together. So join us today on mission. We'll see you next time. Peace.